was in the office. A lot of y'all know I used to work for uh, NYPD. So I'm in the office, and there's a buddy of mine. I'll call him just for uh, today. I'll call him <clears throat> Sergeant Jack. He's an E8 in the, E8 in the military. So he does uh, private security. When he's at work sometime, when he's off, he does private security for various organizations. So one day he comes in the office. He says, Israel, he says, um, let's go out to lunch. I thought it was odd because usually everybody go out and get their lunch and come back. I said, I'm going to get my lunch later. He says, no, no, I need to talk to you now. It's just a little important. I told the deacons the story. So um, <clears throat> we go out. Go in front of, we get some food. We go in front of the bodega. And he says, I, had a, uh, um, I did security last night for some um, Jewish Defense League and people like that. He said they had a big meeting about the Israelites. I said, okay. He said, and they had all the game players on there. He said, uh, he said maybe five of y'all they, they were concentrating on. He said, but the focus was you brothers in purple and gold. I said, okay. He says, uh, the rest of them, they, they talked about them, but they, they, they saw no real threat assessment. I said, we're no threat assessment. He says, no, but based on what they're saying, it looks like you're building an army. I said, well, it's a spiritual army. This is God's army. So he said, well, you guys are making them very, very nervous. He said, uh, Jewish Defense League was there. He said, a lot of Am what, what we call, who we call Amalek, he called Jewish people. He said, I'm just letting you know, Israel, be careful. He said, these people are relentless. Uh, they'll go to extremes to take you guys out. I said, all right, I hear you. And this is the time when we were traveling, hitting various countries, countries after countries after countries. He says, you guys are the only group that's going international doing major things. Identify themselves as black identity extremists, and what does that movement do? Well, it would be interesting to see the conclusions of that report. But I'm aware uh, that there are groups that uh, do have an extraordinary commitment to their uh, racial identity, and some have transformed themselves even into violent activists. Again, there were two shooters, a man and a woman. The man is a man known member of a group called the Black Hebrew Israelite Movement. That group is known to be hostile. He said, I'm just telling you, be careful. He said, they got their eyes on purple and gold. <laughs>